Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. Today's topic is VAV boxes and how do they work? VAV stands for Variable Air Volume, and the system basically does just that. It varies the air volume throughout a building to maintain comfort as the building conditions change, such as when an empty conference room becomes full. When the conference room is empty, there's no load in the space, so it doesn't take much airflow to maintain a comfortable temperature. But people are the equivalent of a 100 watt light bulb. So when you put 10 people in the conference room, you add a lot of load. These 10 people have now added 1,000 watts of extra heat in the space, so you need to bring in more air to make the space comfortable. The VAV box is what actually varies the airflow into the space. The single duct box is the simplest, most common VAV box. There are a couple other types of VAV boxes, but we'll discuss them in future podcasts. Their basic operation is the same as a single duct box. The single duct box consists of an inlet, which is typically round, mounted in a square or rectangular casing. The airflow goes into the inlet and out the discharge to diffusers or grills in the room. Inside the inlet is a damper that opens and closes to control how much air can go through the box. This damper is mounted on a shaft that goes into a control box. At the end of the shaft, inside the control box, is an actuator that has a motor that rotates the shaft open and close the damper. Connected to the actuator is a controller, which is the brains of the VAV box. The controller is often attached to the top to make a single controller actuator unit. Most controllers today are digital or DDC controls. Connected to the controller is a thermostat that would typically be located on the wall in the room where the VAV box is supplying. All of these components work together to maintain the temperature that the thermostat is set to, called the set point. Let's say that the thermostat is set to 75 degrees, but because all those people came into the conference room, the thermostat is now measuring 78 degrees in the space. This temperature and set point information is sent to the controller, which says it's too hot. We need more air. So it sends a signal to the actuator to open the damper. The damper rotates until the room temperature equals the set point temperature. This control loop happens continuously throughout the day to maintain comfort in the room. So why is this good? Well, let's look at a whole building. Say you have a building with several different zones. Each zone has a VAV box supplying it. And each zone has a different amount of people working in that area. So let's put some people in. Because there are a lot of people in one area, it'll need more air, but another area may be empty, so it needs less air, and so on throughout the building. Instead of the building having the same amount of air everywhere, the VAV boxes will allow you to have individual zone control. This increases comfort in each area and reduces the energy use of the building because the HVAC system can adjust the airflow to match the building's needs. And that's how VAV boxes work. Thanks for taking a time out with us.